so hello welcome to today's video on the transcritical application so um i'm going to kind of read up a tedious student of mathematics KNUSD. but please before that please subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos and please like the video if it helps you so on our last video on our previous video we discussed the transcritical bifurcation and today we are going to do the same thing but we are going to take a special case that's when you have transcendental function instead of a polynomial so how do we go about things mostly when you have something of this sort we have to find Taylor series and do some manipulation to get the prototype of the transcritical bifurcation before we can go on so I'm illustrating this with this question here. So it says discuss the bifurcation of um this particular question that we can see here. So you can see that from this particular question we have a transcendental function here that's the e minus bx. So that means that we can't find a fixed point of this clear differential equation here. So we first have to you know find the Taylor series of this our transcendental function substitute it and make some manipulation before we can go ahead with what we have to find so solution we have this so now we have a transcendental function as we can see here so we find the Taylor series for that particular transcendental function and truncate it at the third term that's the term containing x squared and the reason we do that is because you know when you take the prototype of the transcritical it is dx dt equals alpha x plus or minus beta x squared so the highest occurring power here is squared 2 that's the reason why we always make sure um we truncate it at the term containing x squared right so to make sure it fits the prototype of the transcritical bifurcation so that means we have to you know find the last series of this transcendental function here so g of x here we let g of x be the transcendental function and we find the last series of it and truncate it at the third term right so when you find the last series and truncating it at the third term this becomes the first term the second and the third so we truncate it at the third term so here our g of x is e minus bx so that means our g of zero wherever we find x we put zero there we give us one then our g prime of x when you find derivative of the e minus bx so we differentiate whatever i see which will give us minus b e minus bx that's what you have here then when you put in zero we get um negative b then when you take the second derivative, so the second derivative will give us, you know, we have to differentiate whatever is here. We get minus b. So minus b times minus b gives us b squared, then e minus bx. So that's what you can see here. And when we put in our zero, we get b squared, right? So we had one minus b and b squared. Remember. So when you put it inside our formula, then that means the Taylor series for the transcendental function e minus bx truncated at the second term sorry the third term is 1 minus bs plus b squared x squared over 2 so right now we are done finding the last series of the transcendental function what we do is that we put it inside the main question so we have the x dt equals this and this so remember here we're having the transcendental function but instead of it we replace it with the last series that we just found and so that we just do this um algebraic manipulations and calculations so when we do it we end up with this thing here so when we get this um when you multiply two by e then we have this which is quite simple to comprehend then now we have this thing here that's if you try to rearrange right but we have um the term here which contains x cubed. But we said that with the prototype of the transcritical bifurcation, it doesn't have s cubed. 
we said it was of the form dx dt equals alpha x plus or minus beta x squared right so we ignore the s cube here because it's not part of the prototype for the transcritical so we ignore this s cube so when we ignore it then we end up with this right and you realize that now we have something of this form so here this becomes our alpha and the whole of this becomes our beta so you can see that this thing here is of the form of the prototype of the transcritical so that means you are good to go so whenever you have a transcendental function you have to do this manipulation to get something of the form of the prototype of the transcritical before you can start finding for your fixed point and discussing the stability so now we have to find a fixed point so when you find the fixed point we put the derivative to zero so we put the xdt to zero when we do that we have this thing here so we have to solve for x so that means x is equal to zero or the whole of this thing here is equal to zero and we make as the subject so the first fixed point is x1 is zero the second fixed point is so we try to make as a subject here and you can see it here so we go through all this procedure and we finally get s2 to be there so that means there's a second fixed point so if you could remember we said for a transcritical verification there are two fixed points and those two fixed points exchange stability as the parameter values are varied across two regions so we have our two fixed points here that's excellent all right the next thing is that we try to you know um discuss the stability of these two fixed points so in doing that we always have to get our f of x and our f of x is always equal to whatever is here i hope you get that so that means there's our f of x right whatever was there so the next thing we do is that we try to you know expand it so that it makes our differentiation simple for us so when we expand this we have this thing here and we find the first derivative of our function f of x with respect to x and that gives us this right i hope you understand so when you differentiate this you get one here you get minus a b here you get two a b squared x squared all over two two cancels two that's why we have this thing here like, there is no squared here sorry that's why we have this thing here right so after that then we put in our fixed point so when you put in our first fixed point inside this thing here you get f prime of zero will be equal to one minus a b plus a b squared all times zero wherever we find x we put zero there that means this part will go away which will give us the part one minus a b right so take note of that then when you put in the second fixed point right so you get one minus a b plus a b squared this and you realize that this will cancel this so we have this and when we expand it we have 1 minus a b plus 2 a b minus 2 and this gives us minus 1 plus a b so we also have this so um we are saying one is a verification point so the reason i say one is a verification point is that you see for instance when it comes here where is it when it comes here, we have 1 minus AB, right? So you realize that when our AB here is 1, we get 1 minus 1, which will give us 0. And at that point, we can determine the stability. So we become inconclusive. So that means that here, our verification point is 1, right? Then, even when you come to the second one, 2, minus 1 plus AB. When AB is 1 here, so we have minus 1 plus 1, which gives us 0. And then we can determine the stability. It becomes inconclusive. So that means that for this particular question, our verification point is one so one is a verification point so that means that we will take values which are to the right side of one and which are to the left side of one and they are going to give us the regions of um, the parameter so so this is our number line you see we take values to the right hand side of one and to the left side of one so to the right hand side of one means 
the values greater than what one in here values less than one so these are going to give us our two regions right so um actually sorry this thing should start here sorry so it should start here all right so recall that we have these two when we put in the fixed points inside the derivative we had these right we have to discuss the stability so when you consider region one when our a b is less than one that means that our a b can take any number less than one so we can let it be zero minus one minus two anything but we choose a b equals negative one you can choose it to be anything and it will give you the same um results so when you choose a b to be negative one you get f prime of zero one minus a b so right now we are seeing our a b we are choosing it to be negative one any number less than one so we get one minus negative one which is one plus two which is two and we know that when our f prime of the fixed points is greater than zero we say it is unstable so that means that region one our x1 star equals zero is unstable then when you come to the second one so for the second one sorry here is the second fixed point so this length is so let me put this one here so that one was minus one plus a b so a b is negative one so when you put inside you get negative one negative one which gives you negative two which is less than zero so that means that the second phase point here is asymptotically stable so the definition of transcritical two fixed points are created in one region if this is stable and this is unstable in the next region they will swap so now it was stable now becomes unstable the which was unstable becomes stable so that means in region one you realize that s1 star was unstable and s2 star was asymptotically stable so that means in region two expect the opposite okay so in region two we consider when a b is greater than one so we can choose in number greater than one so we chose two you can choose three four five you get the same response so f prime of zero because one minus a b so uh, as you are seeing our a b is two when you put it inside you get negative one which is less than zero so it means that at the second region the fixed point s1 star equals zero is asymptotically stable so you can see that here it's asymptotically stable but here it was unstable you see so that's it with the transcritical then when it comes to the second fixed point so with the second phase point, when you put it inside, we have minus 1 plus AB. Right now, AB, we chose it to be 2. So, we get minus 1 plus 2, which gives us 1, which is greater than 0. So, in the first region, it was asymptotically stable. I realized in this region, it is unstable. So, in conclusion, the two fixed points, two fixed points were created. That was the S1 star equals 0 and S2 star equals 2 times a b minus 1 over a b squared and in the first region that's the region where a b was less than zero um s1 star was unstable s2 star was asymptotically stable and in the second region where a b was greater than one our uh, fixed point s1 star was asymptotically stable and s2 star was unstable and that's this corresponds to the definition of the transcritical verification because we say that two fixed points are created and as we vary them across the region they swap or they interchange stability so thank you very much and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel thank you very much